Tonight, a Manitowoc family is grieving after an eight year old girl died in a rollover crash. According to the Wisconsin State Patrol, eight year old Skyler Beatty and another passenger, another person in the car, I should say, were going southbound on I-43 near County Road K on Wednesday. That's when the driver of the truck lost control and the truck went into the ditch. The truck then rolled over, came to rest in the middle northbound lanes. The child, Skylar, was transported to the hospital where she died. There's no word if wintry conditions played a factor in the crash. It did snow that night. A state trooper tonight did not have details on what definitively caused the crash or information on the identity of the driver of that vehicle. But in the wake of the tragedy, NBC 26's Valerie Juarez spoke with the family of the child who was a passenger in that car to learn more about who the eight year old girl was, how she will be remembered and how the community now is stepping up to help. She wanted to be an astronaut. She wanted to be an astronaut since she was little, since she was about three. A life taken too soon. Eight-year-old Skylar Beatty died in a rollover crash last week in Manitowoc County. Unfortunately, she never got to live the life she once had hoped for. We bought her an astronaut suit that she would wear around the house. Every once in a while, she'd change her mind and say she wanted to be a mom. Skylar's mom, Chris O'Cooley, says losing a child is unexplainable. How do you pick one favorite memory? Every memory is my favorite with her. I miss singing You Are My Sunshine with her every night. The family describes the little girl as vibrant and full of love. My sister's channel, and um, <laughs> she keeps on pulling my leg, but we did a snorting contest, so I'm going to do it on my channel. Skylar loved making TikTok videos like this one. She loved to dance and wasn't afraid to show off her bubbly personality. Skylar was everything. She loved everyone. She loved everything. She had the biggest heart I've ever met. Skylar's grandfather now devastated. He lost his fishing and archery partner. I love that little girl so much. And it's, I still love her. That won't stop. Her and I, and we loved archery. We do it together, you know, 3D archery. We go all over the state. In the wake of this tragedy, the community has been showing an outpouring of love and support. Family have set up a GoFundMe page where nearly $21,000 have been raised to help with funeral and other expenses. Both Sabbatical Brewing and Pet School Brewing in Manitowoc decided to donate 100% of their proceeds this weekend to help as well. Skyler's mom, Crystal, works at both businesses. In, in Crystal's situation, too, I mean, you're looking at an amazing, an amazing woman, amazing mother yeah. of two who worked three jobs to take care of her family. Like, I mean, right. I, that's, that's, that's tough. That's tough. People came out that had never even stepped foot in Pet Skull yesterday. Yep. And they just gave me money and they walked right out. I mean, they, they don't need beer, but they want to support a great cause. The outpouring of support you have received from my family, from Brenda's family, from aunts, uncles, cousins, co-workers, strangers, people that can't afford to give, that gave. This is a testament of how much you touched their lives, and thank you. And while eight-year-old Skylar's life was taken too soon, there's one thing for sure, she will never be forgotten. I miss her hugs. I miss her saying I love you more. I miss the happiness that she brought to the room anytime she walked in. In Manitowoc, Valerie Juarez, NBC 26. What a sweet smile on young Skylar. May she rest in peace. If you would like to help the family, we will have a link to that GoFundMe page on our website. It's NBC26.com.